Hello rhinos, how are you all doing? In this video, we're gonna cover how to reverse pre-diabetes. Now I've done videos similar to this before, so why am I doing this now? Well, I've had a number of comments in my videos recently asking me questions of how long does it take to, be from, to become type two diabetic if you're pre-diabetic? And one of those people were only 15 years of age. And so I had to do this video. I felt I needed to do the video. So I'm going to answer your question first. First of all, it could be tomorrow. It could be next week. It could be next month. It could be in six months time. It could be in a year. If you do nothing, if you keep on living the lifestyle that you have been living right now, but pre-diabetes, okay, is a warning. It's your body warning you to do something now. Take action now. Change your lifestyle now. So in this video, I'm going to give you my, my steps of how to take action now. Let's get into it. Why am I qualified to talk about this? Well, my name is John Collett and in March 2018, I got diagnosed with type two diabetes and within six months, I managed to put my condition into remission or I reversed it and I wanna help you do the same. So step one, make a decision right now, no matter what, whatever it's gonna take, you're gonna reverse your pre-diabetes and get control of your life no matter what it takes okay because what you got to remember by putting your health first putting you first is going to be a unique thing for you okay because we all do the same thing we all go to work we work hard we look after our kids and we do all of those things thinking that we're looking after them and we forget to look after ourselves. And as a result, we're now pre-diabetic or type two diabetic like myself. And what you gotta realize is by actually putting yourself first, you're helping them better because you're gonna be around for longer, you're gonna be healthier and be able to do more things for them. More importantly, you're gonna teach them how to live a healthy and, and productive lifestyle by putting themselves first and their health first too. Step two, get up right now, go to the kitchen, get a bin bag, stick all the processed food that you're aware of and th put it in the bin bag and throw it out. Go on, pause this video. I promise you it's more important than anything else you do because you just made a decision. Now pause and go do. Still here or maybe you're back. If you are still here, I don't want you to beat yourself up about this. If you've just had thoughts going through your head, I can't afford to throw that food out. I don't have time to exercise. I don't have time to prep real food for myself. Okay. Other people in this house like that food. If you've just had all thoughts going through your brain, I think that's a perfectly natural thing to feel. But the reason you feel that way is because you're addicted to that food and you're used to this lifestyle and doing anything new is quite a scary situation. But accepting the fact that you are addicted to this food is vitally important. So don't panic. If you didn't go out and check all that food out right now, I'm gonna give you the next step is gonna help you achieve that goal. Step three is educate yourself. Educate yourself about the consequences of doing nothing and educate yourself about the food that you're eating. So this is what I'm gonna to do to help you educate yourself on the consequences of doing nothing. Below in the description is a link to a documentary called Diabetes, the Silent Killer. It's done by an organization called Panorama that works for the BBC in the UK. And it takes you through life in an NHS hospital as type two diabetics 
more and more are coming into the hospital and they're having to see you get to see all the operations the consequences and everything those people are going through as a result of doing nothing and not taking any action and in some cases only taking the medication and eating the recommended diet given to them by their doctor this is vitally important and it is a hard watch and you're going to have to for force yourself to watch it and you're going to feel uncomfortable after you've watched it. It's not going to be a good feeling, but I want you to remember that feeling. And the next time you're in a supermarket and you're surrounded by all of those cakes and those biscuits or the frozen pizza and you're thinking, I'm going to eat that. I want you to just shut your eyes and remember that documentary. Remember that feeling. Because instead of reaching out and grabbing it, you're going to pull away. Because you're not going to want that for yourself. Why would you inject poison into your own body? Which is what you've been doing. Most likely what you've been doing up to now to become pre-diabetic. So educate yourself about what has been done to you. Yet again, in the description below is a link to a book called Salt, Sugar, Fat how the food giants hooked us. And it's gonna educate you and where you can learn that the food industry did not create this food with your nutrition in mind in any shape or form. Their only interest was hitting something called your bliss point so that you would come back and eat this food again and again and again. It's a fact that when you eat processed sugar, your brain lights up exactly the same way as cocaine does. And this is why you must throw that food out. Because effectively what you're doing is you're a drug addict that's decided because you're watching this video. So I'm assuming you've decided that you need to do something about this situation. Okay. And what and you wouldn't say to an alcoholic or a drug addict, go to a crack den or live in, 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 a, in a brewery as a way of resolving their addiction to alcohol or drugs. And yet that's what you're doing right now. You're surrounded by all of those drugs. And if it's in your house, you're going to eat it. When you're having your bad days, your down days, your things don't go your way, you're going to go and eat that food. And the only way to stop yourself is to go and throw it out. So I encourage you, pause this video, go do step two. <laughs> Are you back? Fantastic. So what we do, we've thrown all your food out of the house, what do we do now? Well, you need to go shopping. And what you need to do is step four, and you need to start buying real food. But what food should you be buying? Well, there's loads of different diets out there. There's low carb diet, ketogenic diet, there's vegan diet, and I'm not gonna go into all of those things right now. <laughs> What you really need to do is start eating real food. What I did, I made a list of all the meals that we current, I currently eat. Because generally we tend to eat the same meals with a little bit of variation on a week to week basis. I identified all the foods that I couldn't eat as a type 2 diabetic and I, re I replaced those foods with, new, with, with foods I could eat. So pizza, I replaced with cauliflower pizza. Pasta with courgette spaghetti, rice with cauliflower rice, potatoes with sweet potatoes, flour with almond flour, and all of these things. Now this is a massive topic. So what I'm gonna do, go to the description below, click on a link called Food Guide. Okay, it's gonna take you to my website, put your name and your email address in there, and I'll send you a list of foods that you can eat. I'm also gonna put a playlist at the end of this video, all about different foods you can eat. Okay, recipes for certain meals, and when you watch those videos, you will also get nutritional value. So if you want to not miss out on any of those videos I do in the future, go and click subscribe right now. Give this video a like as well because it will help other people like yourself, pre-diabetics, looking to put their condition, reverse their condition into remission to see this video so they can get the same education you're getting right now. So step five is exercise. You're going to need to start exercising now it's really important that when you start to exercise is first that you ease yourself in okay so start off 10 minutes 15 minutes build your exercise levels up but you're looking to do three to four times a week 30 to 40 minutes that's your goal to get to okay and you need to do an exercise that's going to make you sweat 
Okay, so if you enjoy going for a walk, walk faster so that you sweat. If you want to go swimming, you want to, you were looking for an excuse to do walking football, then go do that. If you want it, if you like the idea of joining a gym, go join a gym, but do an exercise you love. Now I'm going to stick a video here all about why you should exercise as a pre-diabetic or a type 2 diabetic so you can continue your education with that. Okay, so step six set it in stone and this is going to sound very similar to step one but the times you decide to exercise the designs you decide to prep your food or or get uh, organize your day so you can eat right set it in stone for me it was waking up at 5 a.m coming downstairs 5 30 hitting the mat doing my exercise while no one else was about Okay, I also discovered by getting into that habit, because I was exercising for, uh, to begin with four days a week, I had certain days then where I had more time to prep food and do different things for myself, okay? But if, if it means that you've got to give something up to have the time to prep the food and cook the food, then that is what you've got to do. If it means that one of your kids has to stop doing one of the many clubs that they go to that you're spending time traveling them back and forth to if that's what it takes that's what it takes because it's going to benefit you in the long run and then it's going to benefit them because they're going to see how it is for you living a healthy energetic lifestyle and how they can do the same where well, just imagine if they keep on seeing you doing what you've been doing to get yourself to this point if you've got pre-diabetes or type 2 diabetes at this point because of your lifestyle, okay? So set it in stone. And then my last step is decide to become a 6,000 pound charging rhino with two inch thick skin. Now what the hell am I talking about? What is rhino, <laughs> what has that got to do with pre-diabetes and type 2 diabetes? Well, my favorite book in the world is Rhinoceros Success by Scott Alexander. He talks about taking on the persona of a 6,000 pound charging rhino with two inch thick skin. When you decide to charge down a goal, any goal, but in this particular case, the goal of reversing your type two diabetes, nothing can stop a, a 6,000 pound charging rhino. When life's torpedoes come at you, they're just gonna bounce off your two inch thick skin and you're gonna keep on charging because the rhino, is you. I didn't want to be known as a type 2 diabetic all my life. I'd rather be known as John Rhino Collett. And that's who I want to be. What do you want to be known as? Now, if you want to join a community of people all trying to charge down and do the same thing as you, come to my Facebook group, Charging Down Type 2 Diabetes, join in there and be an active member. And so you, you could, people all going through the same journey as you, trying to help each other do the same thing. Now, I'm gonna stick that playlist here and I'm gonna stick that video about how to do exercise. But remember, you're not a number. You're a rhino. Now charge. <laughs>